hey guys what's up how are you i hope you are all doing well today i'm going to unbox a cpu cooler which is cooler master i50 which is called and it is a decent quality cpu cooler uh, in low price not that uh, high uh, like thermal cooling it is a uh, here it lies it supports intel lj 1150x that means 1150 series uh, all motherboard it supports uh, such as 1151 1155 uh, all 1150 uh, uh, series motherboard it will support on and here uh, is the specification you can see cpu socket lj 1156 55 5150 <clears throat> here uh, this is the dimension 95 into 95 into 60 millimeter and heat sink dimension 95 into 95 into 35 millimeter heat sink aluminium then uh, fan dimension 92 and 92 and 25 i'm gonna focus it yes and fan speed 2000 rpm which is pretty much good fan airflow 30 volts uh, cfm fan air pressure 1.58 millimeter fan life expectancy uh, 40000 hours which is pretty good i think 40000 hours is pretty much fan noise level 28 um, dba decibel maximum so uh, this is the interesting one it is a pretty much noiseless fan which is uh, pretty good i think and here uh, one uh, another important thing fan power consumption is 2.404 watt which is uh, really low so no external power uh, requires for this uh, cpu cooler so let's unbox it uh, should open by this side pretty much wet <coughs> yeah it is uh, opened at last wow the box is <coughs> pretty much good i think uh, so uh, this is the stand for the cpu cooler it should uh, place uh, under uh, or behind the motherboard uh, then here is some foaming system i think for the safety then here it is we have the cpu cooler oh, it it looks pretty much good oh it looks amazing i think you uh, you are uh, you can see the fan uh, which is pretty much uh, decent quality yeah this is the fan and uh, we have a heat sink which is pretty good uh, which um, makes the airflow cooler than the outside fan uh, flow air through the heat sink and heat sink makes the airflow uh, much cooler uh, which will uh, rem uh, so that your uh, cpu temperature cannot be so high so this is the cpu cooler and uh, nothing much in the box so uh, here we have the uh, pin uh, it is three pin as usual for cpu cooler uh, most of the cpu cooler uh, has a three pin connector you should connect uh, it on the motherboard directly so here it is and how you can mount it uh, at first you should uh, place uh, this side place this side not this this way it is it should placed this way under the motherboard uh, behind the cpu of course uh, and you should uh, consider that uh, all point are um, in uh, in right point all uh, screw point and after placing it behind the motherboard then uh, you should place 
the uh, the cooler on upper this way this way by adjusting on all uh, screw ports and then you should tight this screw so that way you can mount it so easily so that is pretty much it i hope uh, you will enjoy the uh, video and uh, i am recommend you it is uh, pretty much good cpu cooler in uh, low price prices the price was not that high i brought it uh, from 500 taka uh, which is uh, not so high i think so that's it thank you all bye bye